Okay, with number seven, we're going to be using our skills that we learned this week and also uh, <clears throat> before the great winter event that we just went through. So we need two formulas. The formula for the area of a trapezoid. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. And the formula for the area of a rectangle. Because if you look at this picture, it says use the diagram to show the lawn. Uh, the diagram shows the lawn that surrounds an office building. What's the area of the lawn? So this part here is not lawn. It's an office building. So the lawn is all the green bits. So you can see there's a trapezoid. And inside the trapezoid is a rectangle, not a square, because the two sides are not equivalent. OK, so we figure out what the trapezoid is. We subtract the rectangle. So I'm going to get you started on this. And then you're going to actually finish solving this bit on your own. So the first formula, we're just going to plug in what we know. We don't know what the area is, but we do know the base and the base. So I'm going to go ahead and start rewriting. One half. OK, first off, we know the height is 80. It's right here. That's the height. It's the perpendicular line that's in between the two bases. This is base 1. This is base 2. So we're going to go ahead and put 80 over here. And we're going to multiply that by the two bases. Uh, so we have 100 plus 140. And OK, 100 plus 140. If you need to, write it out if you can't do this in your head. But that is going to be 240. So we're going to put 240 over here. Now, all right. So now we're going to multiply one of these two factors by 1 half, and which means we're going to divide it in half. Uh, I'm going to take the bigger number, I think. I think that would make, be easier for me in the long run. So um, half of 240 would be 120. So I'm left with 80 times 120. OK, so this is where I'm going to stop on this, because you're going to finish the rest of this on your own, because we've already done several together. Uh, we did a notes video together. so. You're going to finish this particular problem on your own, at least parts of it. So the area of a, um, a rectangle uh, length times width, so area is equal to 50 times 52. So you can do that bit on your own. Now, once we get this, you're going to actually take this area, which is going to be larger. And you're going to subtract whatever this area is so when we actually solve that. And then you're going to end up with just the area of the grass. Now, once you have that, you're going to put that information right here. And then the second part of this is if one bag of grass seed covers 2,000 square feet, how many bags uh, are needed to seed the lawn? OK, so presumably this is going to be a pretty big amount here. So we're going to take whatever that is, and we're going to divide it by 2,000, excuse me, and that'll tell us how many bags they're going to be. So you're going to finish that bit on your own. OK, so I did something weird with the pen here. So it's, I'm supposed to be writing the word bags. So please finish up seven on your own. All right. Now, you still have number eight to complete. Uh, you have to then try to do some of this on your own. That way, if you struggle, then you have something to tell me about when we discuss how to solve them. Because if you're not putting any effort in on your own, you're not learning anything. So just copying what I do is wonderful. It's better than nothing. But you have to also uh, try to think on your own as well. All right. I will check in back with you later. Thank you.